What are we fighting? What is that in the middle? What am I fighting here? It's like some kind of a statue. Oh, there's a walking guardian right there. Is it just the one? Is this room bigger than all the other rooms? It seems like it is. There is a horse. A couple of horses. Is it just the one walking guardian? I can beat one walking guardian without falling back on ancient arrows. Absolutely. All you gotta do is get close to it and then uh, you don't see me. The music is terrifying though. All you gotta do is get close and start breaking its limbs. I'm pretty close. Just gotta wait for the right opportunity here. Pretty sure it's the only enemy here, period, which is good. I guess they gave you horses so that you could use a horse to uh, go around it and shoot it, maybe? I don't know. I want it to get closer to me again, and then I'm just gonna get in there and start hitting it. Break off one of its arms. Walk towards me next, please. It's walking away from me instead. I should go ahead and eat that uh, dish I made that gives 5 HP. Yeah, get back to near full. Come here, little guardian. By little, I mean massive. Alright, this is perfect, this is perfect. Get in there. Break the arm. There we go. One arm broken. Start hitting it while also breaking the other arms. It's another one down. Move over to the next one. Sick. To the next. Just keep knocking its arms off. It's almost out of them. It is out of them now. Now just kill it. I know it's badly damaged, but it's fine. Because I've almost killed this thing. Eye shots. One more. One more eye shot, it might die. There we go. Easy. Uh, next, let's use... This. That it? Okay, thank goodness. Probably got, what, three, four more floors? It usually goes in, like, five challenge floors, then a resting space, I think. If that is how it goes, this should be, what, floor 19? Floor 18 we're moving on towards? I don't know. We should only have three, maybe four more tops. Hopefully. Ah, great. Flying ones. I will absolutely use an ancient arrow on a flying enemy. A flying guardian, at least. Is that actually all that's here? Is the one flying guardian? Don't see me, though. I think it's the only thing. Can I climb this? I mean, usually in Zelda, you can climb anything. In Breath of the Wild, at least. Not every Zelda. Alright. There's a chest right there that I'm going to want to get. If you can drop something on top of these guys, it, like insta-kills them, but I don't see anything to drop, so I guess I'm just gonna have to go with ye olden ancient arrow. I'm gonna ancient arrow this guy. I think I had five left. I only have four left, actually. As soon as he comes this way, it's very important that I don't screw up the shot, because I don't want to waste any of these. There you go. Uh, you don't get one shot by these, apparently. I hate this. This is actually the worst. But he can't hit me right now, thank goodness. Start using the Royal Bell. I need more damage. Is it better to use, like, a Lightning Arrow? That did nothing. Fire Arrow, maybe? I mean, it's doing damage, at least. Am I actually going to end up running out of arrows? Thank goodness this thing apparently is incapable of gaining more altitude. Do I do more damage if I, like, hit your eyepiece? Maybe? That was a miss. Oh, I did get an eye shot there. Now he's getting too far away. I don't like it. Get closer to me, though. I'm gonna have to go back and pick up all these arrows, too. Are you done? I'll let you fly around and come back to me. I did not know that these things were immune to, uh, ancient arrows. Are the normal guardians immune to them, too? I thought that they- Whoa. He's mad. 
ah, oh, this sucks. I was really hoping to just instantly take him out and be done with this, and now I'm low on arrows for the first time in the trials. Okay, just let him come back to me. Take this slowly. I don't know how to fight these things outside of bows and arrows, honestly. I don't know any other way to combat them. I really want eye shots now, but it's, like, much harder to hit and costs me more arrows. I'm, like, almost out. I'm not going to kill this thing in six arrows unless I get a bunch of eye shots, which I'm not going to get. Spoiler. That was not an eye shot. These things are a lot less forgiving on eye shots than the normal guardians are. At least the ancient arrow did, like, a third of its health, which was pretty helpful. That wasn't an eye shot, really. Oh, hey, I'm out of normal arrows. Well... Only one option now. These might be doing a little more damage. I don't know. I can't really tell. I'd also like to save a couple of ice arrow or lightning arrows if I can, as well as fire arrows. There, it's dead. Okay. Hopefully, we have, like, little to no more of those. I need to make sure I get that chest up there, and I know I dropped some arrows over here. I even saw, like, three of them in the ground. So, I definitely want to pick those up. We should be getting close to the end, though. So hopefully I can make it through with what little I have left. I still have, like, what, three Ancient Arrows? Three Ancient Arrows. Hopefully the next things that I try an Ancient Arrow actually die to it. But we shall see. Where is... I know I dropped some over here as well, but I don't see where. Alright, let's just go up and get this chest and break these open. I didn't even see these here. Where is the Double Axe? Break these open. More arrows. Thank goodness. I absolutely need them. And then scale this really quickly to get what's ever in that chest, because I will more than likely need it. Go, 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 go. Open sesame. Bomb arrows. Ooh, that would have been really helpful against it. <laughs> so if I run into another one, I have those now, or any other enemy I want to use it on. Two more floors, three tops, hopefully. I should, like, try and use two ancient arrows here and then two ancient arrows on the next floor. Then the last floor, if there is one, if there are three more instead of two more, probably has a, uh, a boss that I can't do it to. Is that supposed to be Hyrule Castle right there? Also, Joy, another freaking flying machine. Is it just one of these again? Is that a metal box? No, it isn't. It's just debris. I thought that was a metal box, like one of the broken up metal boxes for a second, and that I'd be able to pick it up. What sees me? Oh, there's a... Okay. I see where the difficulty comes from here now. And there's one over there. Oh, no. How am I going to do this? Thank goodness. Does that thing die in one hit to an ancient arrow? Well, actually, if I can get up to that thing, I think I can just hit it repeatedly and it'll die. I think is how it works. That thing is easy to kill, too. It's just the stupid flying one. You don't see me. You're crazy. Go, 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 go. Climb. I really hope this is going to work out the way I think it is. I'm going to get right here and I'm just going to start hitting you. No, no it is not. You know what? Only one option then. Got to parry. I pressed A. This is actually, like, really bad. I don't know how I'm going to win this. Because fighting guardians is what I'm worst at. Definitely want the attack up here, I think. Let's get out... This... And see if I can just hold Y and start spinning on it. Here we go. Yep. Getting a good amount of damage here. There we go. Alright, now drop. Now wait here for stamina. Okay, this is going to work. Good. So I know how to beat this guy. Need him to stop looking at me. When he stops being pink. Okay. He's still pink, but we're good. I think. Get right here and spin. Hello. Get that health down as much as I can. I'm gonna get hit. 
No, I'm not. I'm actually the greatest. Okay. This thing is almost broken. I would actually really like to throw this thing at the flying one if I could, so I'm gonna get this out. Oh, no. We're fine. I'm pretty sure I can fight that guardian, like, right here without the flying one noticing. I really hope there's only one more floor after this, by the way. I'm actually gonna Ancient Arrow the, uh, the Walking Guardian and hope that it insta-kills. This one's dead. The Ancient Guardian has also not moved from right here, like, at all. So let's do this. And do this. Please work. Okay, it did insta-kill it. Thank goodness. So I guess the Flying Ones are just immune to being insta-killed by Ancient Arrows for some reason. There are some horses over there I can use. But I'm, like, horrible at bareback combat. <laughs> Horse combat, whatever you want to call it. Let's get inside here and see if there's anything in here that can help me with this. There is a chest. What's in it? A royal bow. Okay, well, like, unless you're going to give me some arrows to go with that, it doesn't help out a whole lot. I'm going to hit this thing with the stone smasher as soon as it comes around. Hello. Yep. Oh, it broke, too. Unfort. That did not... It, like, my depth perception was just bad there is all I really know to say. I really wish that the freaking whatchamacallsits would work on you. Because I would absolutely use one right now. An Ancient Arrow, I mean. Honestly, I might use an Ancient Arrow just to, uh... To... That... What? Excuse me? That hit me? I strongly disagree, game. But you know what we could do? Is get our defense way up and try for some parries. Hey. Hey, you. Look at me. Here we go. I actually got it first try. It didn't die, though. Okay. It didn't kill it, which I'm honestly really upset about. But uh, I got a lot of damage. I'm going to wait for him to come back around. Because I really don't want to mess with anything right now. I don't want to get too close to it or anything like that. Come on, get moving again. Cycle on over to me. Seriously? Like, what? Hello? Hello? I want to finish this trial sometime today. Okay, well. There we go. I do not like being this close. I did it again. How does he do it? I'm honestly, no one is more amazed at this than me. Whew. Alright, we got that then. Well, let's move on to what could possibly and hopefully be the final trial. Which I still have two ancient arrows for. Here we go. I shouldn't have skipped that, but whatever. We've seen it plenty of times already. It's another freaking Lionel. It's a Lionel surrounded by goblins on horseback. You have actually got to be kidding me. That Lionel has to get... Uh, don't start shooting arrows at me, though. You know what the best thing I found to do here is this. There's a Guardian too? You've got to be kidding me. This had better be the end. Like, I'm, I'm honestly, like, I'm going to lose. I don't see how I'm going to get through this. You stupid... The addition of the goblins here is too much. Flare Rush is, like, unnecessary, but... I'm more worried about dodging this stupid laser. This is, like, the super strong Lionel, too. I need you gone. Okay, thank goodness. Ow. Uh, I do have plenty of fairies. I think eating this right now is the best option. Well, eat all the other food first. Save that. Get up, get up, get up. I have to ancient arrow that thing. I did not mean to bomb myself there. I got hasty and clicked the button too fast. Oh, yes, fire, fire. Okay. Please work the way I think you will. It's dead. 
Oh my goodness. I've somehow gotten out of this. This is still difficult, don't get me wrong, but it's like a thousand times more doable now. These are all red goblins too, so they like instantly die. When they get hit by an arrow. Because they've only got like 13 HP. Way overshot that. I'm honestly going to be really mad if this one hits me because I've missed it so many times when I shouldn't have. There we go. Okay. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Let's go. You're dead. And that was a bad shot. You're dead. Okay. All right. I cannot believe I made it through that. If I really hope that was the end because if there is a harder floor left or that the next floor is a boss, either or. If the next floor is a boss, you know, no big deal. Ancient arrows don't matter. If the next floor, like, has more guardians or something, I don't have any ancient arrows to throw out. Make sure I go around and pick up, like, everything. Because I need it. Depending on if there's something to actually fight on the next floor or not. Alright, I think I'll be fine without that spear. Uh, as well as that. I don't need these. Uh, don't need those either. I think we're good. Yeah. Let's, let's go and see what the final floor is, if there is one. I really hope there's not, like, two floors and I've miscounted somehow. But we're gonna find out. Ah, we've done it. Unless I get up there and they're like, okay, final fight time. Defeat Calamity again and again with nothing but a soup ladle. <laughs> I cannot believe I managed through this. I didn't even use any of the fairies. I did lose once on screen to the Lionel because I was dumb and didn't ancient error it. And then I lost once off screen when... Really, when I lost the second time off screen, it was because I was being hasty. I was like, okay, I've already done this once. Just barrel through it, play sloppy, and me playing sloppy got me killed, so... You didn't miss anything fantastic, I promise. Hello, monks. That's my sword. You have done well. The depth of your heroism is beyond question. Now I'm just going to take this sword now. We are the ones who prepared this trial, following a revelation from the goddess Hylia. To the one who has overcome the trial of the sword, you have proven your hand worthy of the legendary master sword. Now that the hero has gained the power necessary to combat the calamity, our sacred duty has been fulfilled. Yeah, I already beat the calamity without the double damage sword. Chosen hero. With the Awakened Master Sword now boasting its true splendor. You guys really like the word splendor. Protect the Kingdom of Hyrule for now and for always. And I've been doing that for like 20 or so games already. I don't even know how many Zelda games exist, but there's a lot of them. Alright, I'll take this now. Okay, is that it? I thought something else was going to happen. At least we were going to, like, turn blue and line out of here. Instead, we just get white screen. Oh, I'm here now. You going to talk to me, giant tree? Uh, 
that's the fee noise from Skyward Sword. I love it. Oh, that was great. Dude, hearing the fee noise was worth all of it. Ah, so you finally returned. Your mind, body, and soul are now ready to wield the Master Sword at its full potential. Don't you mean its full splendor? You never fail to impress. The Master Sword, the legendary sword that seals the darkness of Blade that can combat the Calamity. Link's triumph over the trial of the sword has awakened its true splendor. Now you are truly one with that sword of yours, I must say. Its sacred glow suits you well. As ever, I shall watch over your journey from here. The Princess, I am certain Hyrule's Princess is pleased with your accomplishment as well. Alright, good talk, Deku Tree. Well, there you have it. We have uh, finished the Trial of the Sword, the Master Trials. So that's going to bring this little mini-series of mine to a close. So thank you all for watching. Before I go, I'm going to really quickly go over what I thought about... Uh, there's more to the DLC than just the Trial of the Sword, but the main draw of the DLC is the Trial of the Sword. I know they added some other small things like Korok Mask, there's a Majora's Mask, Mask, uh, Mask, 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 etc., etc. And I think that's a... They just added in a couple of different things and then gave you the Trial of the Sword, basically. Which, the Trial of the Sword was cool. I will admit, I did like it. Uh, it kind of exemplified the one thing that I don't like about Breath... Or, like, the major thing I don't like about Breath of the Wild. And that's that this game is too easy because the only way they saw that they could make the Master Trials any of a challenge was to make you start from ground zero, which when it happened with Eventide Island, I really liked the concept of there being one area in the game where it's like, oh, you have to start from scratch. That was cool, especially the whole island like survivor motif it had going. I thought that was cool. Uh, Trial of the Sword, not so much, especially since they broke it. It was basically just three more challenging Eventide Islands in a row. And I did enjoy the Trial of the Sword, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. It's just a bit disappointing to me that the only way they could make something like a post-game DLC thing challenging, really, was to make you start back from ground zero. And then as you went, things got easier, as always. Like, the hardest parts of the Trial of the Sword, other than when I stupidly tried to fight a Lionel instead of Ancient Arrowing it, the most difficult parts of the Trial of the Sword were, like, the first five rooms. And then after that, things got way easier. So... You know, which is like how Breath of Wild functions as a game in general, which I hope they fix. You know, I say fix. I guess it's not really like a major problem so much so, but I hope that the game is more challenging. Or the next Zelda game, I mean. The next Zelda game they make that's like this, that's open world, because they're definitely going to make another one because this one did so well. I hope that they do better at the challenging part of the game, that it scales better with your level. Uh, which is really hard to do with free roam open stuff, I know, because you want the players to be able to go anywhere, so it's hard to scale stuff, but I'm, I'm sure it's possible. So I hope they can work on that. But overall, Trial of the Sword was very fun. I did enjoy the Trials, even though I wasn't a huge fan of it just being start over with nothing every single time. But uh, yeah, it was good. So definitely, I'd say the DLC is worth, especially if you want to play more Breath of the Wild outside of the Trial of the Sword, because it adds in more stuff you can more armor and whatnot you can get, as well as that Korok mask, which I'm sure is amazingly useful for people who are trying to get all 900 Koroks. But anyways, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I also wanted to mention there's the other DLC pack for Breath of the Wild that I believe is scheduled for December... Uh, December? It's my birth month, I can't even say it right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, December. It's slated for December, as far as I'm aware. I think that's when it is. When it comes out, I will definitely do another mini-series on the channel similar to this for that, and I'm looking forward to it as well, especially because it has to do with the champions, and it has an original dungeon. Another of my complaints with Breath of the Wild was that not enough dungeons. There were only, like, four of them, unless you count Hyrule Castle. I guess Hyrule Castle could have been a fifth one. And the four Divine Beast ones are way too similar. So I definitely want a good dungeon. Because that's what the Zelda games were all about up until this point. And I don't think that it's bad that Zelda is gone really free roam, especially with Breath of the Wild. But I do really enjoy the dungeon crawling aspect of Zelda from Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess and other such games. So I really hope that they do this uh, dungeon they're releasing with the next DLC pack is good. So, And it also talks more about the champions, which I love the champions other than Mifa really. But I really want to learn more about Rivali and Arbosa and Daruk and even Mifa to an extent. So I hope it has more info on them because it is called the Champions Bow DLC. So that'll when that comes out, you'll see it on the channel as well. But I've rambled long enough. I think that this did end up ending on about 10 parts. I think the 10th part might be like half an hour instead of 20 minutes. But hey, it works. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. And until then, farewell.